So what's so cool about this concrete wall? The fact that it's not concrete. We're working with Limestone product today. It's an awesome product. It's able to give us different textures and different finishes. But for this project particularly, we're gonna use a stone look. All right, so basically what we're about to do right now is get the scale ready and start mixing for this specific color. We're actually gonna go with the, with the Galena look, um, which is on a darker scale of gray, um, which requires um, two different pigment colors. That's what these are called. They're called, you know, the specific pigments. One is uh, ochre and one is slate. Uh, they have a specific gram amount to get, you know, the look that we're going for. So it does have to be measured precisely. So right now I'm gonna start pouring the ochre. Um, it needs 117 grams, so I'm just going to pour until I see that number go up to there. I just finished putting in the last third of the bag. Now I'm just gonna mix for three minutes to get the consistency that we need. Set a timer for three minutes. All right, so now it's just as simple as just loading up your pool trowel, okay? And you just, and you literally apply. There's no specific motion that you want to do, uh, but well, you know, for the first layer, what you do want to do um, is just get a thin layer. This is just our base coat. So, like I said, no specific movement. Just kind of applying the material on the wall. rinse and repeat process. Not that there's a specific motion you need to do, but at least just, just, if you are gonna work with a larger wall, stay with a consistent motion. So what's real cool about this actually, the finish, the stone, is that, you know, whatever you do, even if you mess up or don't, like, it'll still look nice. At the end of the product, like, it's still gonna look like stone. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, but if you do want a specific, you know, clean finish look, you know, I do recommend having, a, you know, one consistent um, uh, movement when you do apply. So here's another tip as well. Always maintain a wet edge. And if you are working with a larger wall, you do wanna move pretty quickly because this thing does dry out pretty fast. So like I said, make sure you maintain a wet edge. So if you guys ever do decide to, you know, work with this Lime Strong product, feel free to reach out. My name is Munio Lopez with Genesis Construction. Peace.